today. We're trimming around all the windows, which is going to be awesome. We have to get all of the, to cover places like this up here and stuff like that. And all these nail holes all get trimmed over. But first we got to measure and cut everything into place. Then we have to stain it. Then we have to poly it. And then we install it. And we'll virtually be done with the inside of the bus. Except we bring it out one quarter, three quarters of an inch, like this. And now we measure this side. Now we only need to go up to here, right? Because we're doing the backsplash thing. Yeah. Okay. 18 and 3 16 So passenger lower trim is in place. Let's go measure the upper trim on the back. Hundred fifty-two and fifteen sixteenths. Actually, hmm, I don't want to do that. We're trying to figure out just how I want to cut that trim right there to fit. Oh. And if I want to do the vertical trim first, which I think I do. you were making it so skinny. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, 24. Excuse me. I think it would be wise for us to paint, install, or stain paint and install these before we do all the center pieces because they're all going to be a little bit different. So we can't just cut them. Okay, so we should put the top, the top one and the bottom one on first and yeah. then do all the vertical things yes. in between each window. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, pretty easy to apply. I don't know if this is the way. I just the way I do it. it works good to me. Just wipe it on. It's really thinned out, so unlike like regular polyurethane that's really, really thick. This stuff is uh, pretty thinned for you. I guess that's why it's wipe on. But it works really well. And we'll put two coats of this on. And this is uh, high gloss stuff, so this stuff's pretty, uh, will be, will look really nice when it's done. Go put it in the bus. All right. That looks nice. Yep. It looks outstanding. It sure does. So pretty and clean. I think you need to talk about how far in advance, how long ago you were already thinking about this day. Oh, okay. 
So back when we started um, doing the installation on the walls and building up, building up the lower walls there, um, right, like as we were getting ready to put the two by or no two by four. That's a two by four right there. Um, we got we thought about it and we went, wait, we should lower it down like a qu three quarters of an inch down from this metal surface yeah, right here. That was all you. And that was so that just for this purpose right here. We put this in. So when it's we put level. that in, it makes it level with the metal of the window back hill. If we hadn't done that, it would be like stacked up like this, and every pen and pencil in the house would be like dead down bugs. that crack. Yeah, nasty dead bugs and dirt. So, so that's pretty cool. That's that. Okay. go very very pretty okay let's put the upper wall there shall we yes so if you'll do me a favor oh we got to put those little pieces on first oh yeah there we go You guys, sometimes getting one tiny thing done like this totally changes the look of this whole area. Wow. Nice. put that trim on there it'll be perfect let's do the top on the other side so we got the bottom over here okay then we can move on to the middles that's where the front just is i guess Good work. Although, word to the wise, finish your window treatments before you build furniture in front of it. Well, at least those ones are a breeze. So, for each one of these, it requires a little bit of extra work so that we get the holes exactly where they need to be for the screws we put in to hold the windows in later. Those pieces of wood that we just put on here come three and a half inches wide. That would mean it would have less kind of crazy overhang. These things are roughly two and, three quarters. two and three quarters inch wide, but they vary slightly, a little bit more, like 13 sixteenths. Yeah, it's pretty universally 13 sixteenths. So let's cut them at that width, shall we? That's what it's going to look like there with two brass things. Cool. Okay, so this is kind of neat because I can go like this. Like that. Marking where the screw holes are. <coughs> yeah. 
So that's where you drill a hole into it. Yeah. Like that. In this case, I'm using a Forstner bit, which is going to cut really nicely here. But if you want it to look really good coming out the other side, if you back your hole with wood, it'll be really, really, really clean. And I'll show you. It's very, very clean when you do it this way. Nice clean hole. Wait, hold it up. Nice. Look at that. And look at that. And the holes line up perfectly. Excellent. Yes, yeah, so we have big washers that are going on here with these big brass washers and then big brass screws that go inside of that that actually match the holes that we have there. And then, um, it's complete. And then they'll be staying this color. 23 and 7 eighths. As well. Next comes the delicate marking procedure. Watch how carefully he makes his mark. about to get scary around here right now. Mike is going to cut our table. He's going to cut our dinette table. part of our house. I guess we better tongue oil those too, the open wounds. I'm trying to keep my hands clean. Probably should use gloves, but it's all right. Ta <coughs> the next coat is this stuff is just shiny. Now we could do two, three, four coats if we wanted to. We're just gonna do two.
So I went ahead and sanded this with our little green pads over there. God, that looks good. Look at that. The second coat is just making this insane. It's so beautiful. Super pretty. I can't infinite size enough though the like the need to run sandpaper or those little green pads over this. The difference was when I did it, um, before I did it, it was a very rough feeling. And it was just little peaks. And when you just run your fingers over it, it's kind of rough. And it didn't take like one pass of that to knock that down to extremely smooth. I'm really excited about getting this done. Except we don't have the screws. I know. We're screwed. I know. It's such a bummer. We ordered these, the perfect brass screws for this. And they're, they're the exact replacement of the ones that uh, hold the windows in. And with these giant fender washers. And when the fender washers are coming today, we'll show you guys those. But the screws aren't coming today. They're not coming until the 1st. What is it? The 24th? Are you kidding me? Aren't they up with our video schedule? <sighs> Clearly not. Stupid Amazon. They don't care about anybody. And then let's just throw in their coronavirus. Coronavirus doesn't care. We're trying to build a bus. We're like, let's infect everybody. Look, why don't we shut down the hardware store? Mm -hmm. Ha! I make light of it, but uh, take necessary precautions. We actually bought these gloves for the coronavirus. They just happen to work out for staining and stuff. <clears throat> but you want to be safe and take care of your loved ones. Don't get everybody sick. If you're sick, just because you're not going to die from it doesn't mean somebody you might infect won't die from it. So, like, be good about that. Okay. So we're still waiting on the hardware, but this is what it looks like installed. Not too bad. So, we finally got our little screws in we've been waiting for. And they're exactly like the screws we removed, which are these ones. Only substantially longer. And a uh, slightly looser thread pattern, apparently. Anyway, um, so, uh, probably you probably have the same thing. If you're building a bus, you probably have the exact same thing. And that's the... Uh, these right here that hold the windows in. And we wanted to keep that obviously because we didn't want the windows to fall out while we're driving or something. Um, so, but we also wanted to look nice with our trim. And uh, so we came up with this as our solution to that. Super easy. And then I come back with the, this right here and straighten them up. Now someone's gonna comment that they're all messed up. Nobody wants comments like that. You have selective perfectionism. <laughs> Whatever, everything I do is perfect, you just don't think so. <laughs> I certainly don't. <laughs> That's because your perfectionism isn't perfect, like mine. It's very unfortunate. Boy, I sure do like the outcome of this. It just looks really nice. And it was pretty easy to do. You just had to wait forever, because I think they had to make these for us and then ship them from China or something. 
took forever to get here. Here we go on a China rant again. Yeah, but <laughs> coronavirus is preventing us from finishing our bus, apparently. Not happy with China. They keep making viruses. First the H1N1, now then the avian flu or something, and now this one. Pretty sure it's their fault. Wash your hands more. Lovely. This is like very satisfying to do this kind of finish work because it takes about 10 seconds per. It takes longer to get the screws out of the box than it does to put them in. It does. But look at how nice it looks when it's done though. The center of this thing. The cool thing is I can kind of like center, even center the screw just by kind of pulling it over a little bit and then finishing it. Like that. And it provides the same strength as the original the original screws did, but it looks a thousand right. times better. Holds the windows in, but yeah, with a lot more rugged beauty. It just, it's, it's finishing this room so nicely. I know, now we have to clean again. You guys, I'm not even kidding you. The instant we get this bus cleaned up, it's like, <clears throat> there's an explosion. And there's just crap everywhere immediately again. You know, in our defense, we've actually done a lot of work on this. Even since the last video you guys saw. There's just so much to this build and, and so much that goes into the level of perfection we're asking of ourselves, which seems to be pretty high. And uh, that requires a big disaster every time. <laughs> I think this is the last one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It doesn't, you know, they don't stand out right now, but clean up this gigantic mess and those things are going to pop. It's going to be a part of something. Love it. I just really... Yeah, and the brass hardware goes with our brass hardware up there too, so it all just looks really good together. And there's even brass on these lights. Yeah. God, I just have one more thing to do before we can call this area done, and that's this right here. And we have to... Oh. Yeah, I gotta put two more of those screws in. We also have to decide right here, I think we should put some kind of like outside light right there. Not necessarily a uh, like motion sensor or anything, but just something we can just turn on when we go out the front door. Or if we need to do something out there, we can just click a switch and walk out the door. Sure. Um, yeah, I like that better. Sounds good to me.